<sighs> so the weirdest thing just happened. We were taking Digby out for his morning walk, just doing a couple of laps around the campsite because we've got a lot to get on with today. And as we went down to the main gate, Chris, the guy who's towing the house for us today, that is the guy that built the house, he's waiting at the front gate and he's bringing a new house into the campsite that we're currently staying on. And it was like the trippiest thing ever. He said that he was going to be down south delivering a house and so he could pick us up and move us today. But we didn't realize that he was literally delivering a house to this exact campsite. And it was just like the weirdest thing ever to walk around that corner and just see Chris and another tiny house just like sat there by the front gate. It was like the weirdest thing. So it's just started raining, which is not very favorable, but it's been forecast to rain all week today, which is like the only day that it's rained in like weeks, which is really annoying. It's only spitting at the moment though. I think it's forecast to kind of be showery all day. Um, but hopefully we can get everything packed up without getting soaking wet. We're hoping that we can keep most of the things in the house. Um, the sofa can stay, the beds upstairs can stay. The only couple of things that we think we need to bring down from upstairs, which is like the fan and the box that the fan's on, just anything that could break really. All the soft stuff can just like stay up there. Um, but yeah, gonna get packing and ready to move really. I said to Chris, who's the other side of the campsite, which is still really weird, um, that we'll pretty much be ready to go when he's ready to go. So as long as he's not ready too quickly, I think he's got quite a lot to do. So be a couple of hours, I should think, but we might be away by like midday. It's half nine at the moment, rather than perhaps three o'clock in the afternoon, which is what we originally thought it would be. So the sooner we can get going, the better really. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. So we've just removed our washing machine from our kitchen and while we had it out we had a look underneath our plinths which is the piece of wood that runs along the front of the kitchen that covers up the legs and basically underneath the kitchen units I don't know if you'll really be able to see too well to be honest but we've got the the wheel arch there and it's not too bad but there's a bit of mold on it so obviously moisture's gone underneath the kitchen units or got behind um or got behind it somehow but i think that we're going to have to keep the plinth off the front of the units to get some airflow in there maybe put some condensation traps under there and try and clean it all with maybe a mold cleaner i feel like it's something that we need to tell you because if you're looking at getting any kind of caravan or tiny house or anything then these are the kind of things that you're not going to think about. And I think that being the summer, it probably hasn't been too bad, to be honest with you. And it might have dried out a bit anyway, because it's been so warm. But in the winter, you get areas like that everywhere and mold just like creeps up, especially where there's wood. The mold can just like get out of control. Um, we certainly experienced that last winter, but we're just going to leave it for now. I think once we get to our new place, we might put some mold spray on it because I think the mold spray is there anyway in the garden box. Give it a clean, give it some air, um, and yeah, go from there. All right, guys, we've had a little bit of a panic because Chris has finished with the other house and he's turned up and he's ready to go. We've pretty much just dumped everything on the floor that we can. All the heavy stuff is out, washing machines out, fridges out. But yeah, it's all a little bit go, go, go at the moment, so. Well, we made it everybody. 
the house is officially in. We need to level it all and everything ourselves though, which shouldn't be too much of a problem, but it's absolutely tipping it down with rain at the moment, which is really annoying. It's been forecast all week to rain this afternoon, and it's just like the one afternoon, we just don't want it to rain, and it's raining. It's currently one o'clock in the afternoon. It says it's gonna stop raining at six o'clock this evening. I'm hoping there's gonna be a break in the rain though, so that I can get the house level, um, and start taking things in like the fridge for example because we want that to get plugged in um, apparently the cable for the power hasn't arrived yet which isn't too much of a problem because we've still got our old cable assuming it is long enough um, but the new cable we've ordered is a 32 amp cable whereas the one we have already is only a 20 which shouldn't really be an issue we're not running any heating or anything um, it just depends whether it's long enough to reach the house or not, I suppose. But yeah, I kind of wish it wasn't raining right now because I really want to get the house done, the pipes all plumbed in and just start sorting things out. But yeah, nothing you can do about the weather, I suppose, is there. So here we go, everybody. Oh, <laughs> look at the rain. There she is. God, oh, camera's getting wet. It sunk down quite a bit more than what I thought it would, but I think we're all right. So these are the jacks and he's put in the four corners and this is just a bit of wood to kind of like spread the weight. Front door, oh, it's just on the edge there. Oh, look how much the wheels have sunk down already. Let the fun and games begin. You good? What do you think? It's good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, look at this bit. There's like not. Look at the dirt. So clean. So welcome everybody to our new home well same home different location i didn't really film much of yesterday afternoon because the weather was so bad it was really rainy and we just wanted to get the house ah! done Dave, i you... forgot that the thing was on help well you got to turn the... i can't get it in you got to turn the tap off i know i forgot <laughs> it's Becky just unplugged the uh, the hose at the jet washer without turning the water off. But yeah, yesterday was, it was one of those days where we just wanted to put the camera down and just get everything done and get in because it was a really stressful day. Up until 11 o'clock in the morning, it wasn't too bad. And then all of a sudden Chris turned up and it was just like, go, 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 go. And it was just like mad rush for like the entire day. And yeah, we were quite stressed out to be honest. But this is us anyway. We're all in. It was a little bit of a struggle to get in because this tree stump down here was just creating all kinds of problems to be honest with you. And it took ages for them to get it in, but it's all leveled, which to be honest, took around about an hour to do because if any of you have ever tried to level something with four corners, it's really hard. But yeah, one there, one there, all four corners. I've also done the pipes as well. So we've got the one soak away under here which is where our toilet's going. And then the water from the bathroom sink is going on top of it. So the toilet one's going into the soak away underneath the stones and then the um, sink's kind of resting on the top. So hopefully that kind of keeps everything washed away and doesn't smell or anything. And then we've done the same thing with the kitchen. But this is the kitchen going into the stones and then this is the shower just kind of resting on top and then hopefully that should do the same thing um, and we shouldn't have any pests or uh, any smells or anything well that's the idea anyway we have encountered a couple of hiccups on the way so our water heater now it's flashing an error code saying e1 we're not really sure what that means because we don't have like a manual with the heater or anything we still get hot water it still works exactly as it should but it's just flashing this e1 code 
instead of the temperature of the water, which it would normally do. So if any of you know what that might be, then just let us know. But I mean, it's still working, so not really too worried about it, to be honest with you. The other problem we've got at the moment, we're trying to fix it, is because we're using our old hose pipe that's been wound up in the reel. If some of you remember when we first moved into the house last year, we had a 100 meter hose pipe that we had to wheel out to fill up the water tank because that's how far away the nearest tap was. But when they put a new tap in that was closer to us, we just had like a 30 meter length of hose that we had out all the time um, that we just connected the ends up to fill the tank up with. But because we've come here, we've got our massive hose pipe reel back again. And basically what's happened is that over the summer, the hose pipe's obviously been outside and there's been water inside the pipe like all summer long and uh, we didn't really know this but basically the chemicals from the hose pipe have all contaminated the water inside the hose so when we first filled up the tank the water that was coming out of the taps just smelled really strong of chemicals like it was really weird we thought there was something wrong with the heater we weren't really too sure what was going on but it turns out that if you leave water in a hose for a long period of time particularly in the summer then as the hose pipe degrades it basically contaminates the water that's left inside it with really toxic chemicals that the hose is made out of basically so we flushed the whole system out today we emptied out the whole tank we've been running water through it I've actually cut a length of hose pipe off, which is about 30 meters long. So it's not going through hundred meters of hose pipe to get into the tank. Um, and we're hoping that it's just gonna gradually flush the toxins away and we're not drinking it anyway. So that's the most important thing. You should never drink out of a hose pipe for that exact reason. There could be like mold in it, bugs in it, chemicals in it like you should just never drink out of a garden hose but yeah the smell was like really strong we had a shower and it was just like unbearable it was almost like we were getting gassed because of like the water vapor it was really bad but everything's gone well anyway we've still got loads of things to do obviously jet washing the concrete we've got tidying up to do the next job i want to do though is i want to fence off the house here mainly for security really because i guess at the moment we're quite exposed to anybody that wants to come in here and potentially steal the house not that i think that would ever happen because you can't just like hitch it up and off you go but we want to get it secure anyway so i think tomorrow i'm going to put the fence up at least two panels anyway because this bit here we're going to have a gate and then use this concrete bit here as like a driveway um so i think i might take these two panels down and then basically just move them over there so the house is protected and then we'll think about getting a gate um, and then yeah just maybe tidy up the move is officially complete i really hope you enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up if you did we'll catch you guys next time for a bit of fencing a bit of jet washing um, and some more fun stuff like that so until then have a safe drive stay alive have a lovely day and remember don't spill anything or try not to spill anything anyway all right bye bye